message to her and now she must tell you guys the truth. I don't have nothing to lie about, Auntie Shelly. And thank you for your help. I know you helped us and you're a good woman. But I can't sit here and lie to you. My heart's broken, man. She runs off with fucking other men and disappears for a whole weekend and then come home Monday night from a weekend. Then I must, must just sit there and... What must I do? No, man, this... I don't have to lie to you, Auntie Shelly. That's the truth. You need to ask Regina, because you know what, I don't even know. I don't know her. You know, just when things started coming right in the business, everything, she runs off of that security guard. What he's got on her, what all he's got on her, God knows. Because she, she gave all, all, everything up for that. So now I can't say anything. She wants to be with that man, I left. That's what had happened. I can't lie to you. That's the goddamn truth. So this is my abuser who phoned my mom way back in November 2021, of which I have accounts now on legal documents of him already being in another relationship with another woman from the same year, September 2021. This is to give an example of how crafty and skillful somewhat conniving an abuser can be if you hear the tone of voice um, very calm very unlike this person in private this is a telephone call to my mother concerning me having an affair in November 2021 and accusing me and making allegation of that with a friend of mine who he demeaningly calls a security guard of which my friend actually has an international accreditation which he from the commencement of our personal relationship was obsessed and jealous about to no end um, that said and done the first to note is that he was already in his next relationship from September 2021. This recording was sent. The telephone call was made to my mom of late November 2021. He had already been in his next relationship September, October, November for three months when he accused me of what he stands accused of, of which there is evidence to substantiate the truth. And once a person has established the truth, you can then move on from that as there is no confusion and chaos created. But this is then the truth of which behind this recording, you can edit the detail of the telephone call made to my mother in late November as further evidence of his false accusations and allegations made toward me at the time. Victims, this is just so that you too can know that your abuser will also make allegation and assumption to your friends and family as to further damage your reputation and credibility as if the physical verbal, emotional, psychological, financial, economical covert and coercive abuse and violence, aggression, anger and rage was not enough. They will go to whatever extents they deem possible, if that's the word. As I was threatened on the 13th of November 2021, he would completely destroy me. He made a good work of it. My physical health did decline hacked all my systems on laptop and devices and brought all my businesses of which there is four to a dead standstill with me having going without food for at times five days in a row he would withhold my funds from me which I worked for diligently most mornings until two three o'clock in the morning of that he does not mention or give credit due but makes further allegation creating false impressions to others whether i know them 
or don't, whether to my friends or family or clients or suppliers. When is enough enough? How to prove emotional, verbal and psychological abuse would be to keep all the evidence. It's going to take a lot of working through all the detail for the investigating officers, but I forge forward with evidence in hand to substantiate such claims of psychological abuse, defamation of character, litigation of affection, not limited to and or all incorporating and I have the right of my mother to share such recording and as my name is mentioned I give full right to the sharing of this voice note should the abuser want to contend he can make such contention in writing to my email address or his legal representative to Regina Besson at the Healing One Ministry dot online. Thank you so much. This is as an example of what a victim will be subjected to. The tone of voice of the abuser and calls made with false allegation and to further discredit your name, your reputation and credibility whilst being in another relationship with another woman from September 2021. This recording was sent to my mom late November 2021. This is Regina Vasson from the Healing One Ministry because he's the one that heals. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour indeed. Emmanuel, God with us. El Roy, the God who sees me. Let it be on earth as it is in heaven. It is now on earth. It is done. It is finished. To the perfect will of our Father, Abba Hashim, Elohim Adonai El Shaddai. May your name be exalted, glorified and honored both today and forevermore. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen.